Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Git Good at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. In this episode I'm going to cover a problem that quite often comes up when uh, people are shoestringing a ride, and that's that a ride will block stat calculation for other rides in the park. So, um, well, if you don't know what you're looking at right here, uh, this is a typical setup for a shoestring ride. So here's the green track, which is the normal station for the ride. Uh, the red one is the infinite uh, loop track. So this is what, in the end, your uh, ride will be riding on. Well, most of the train, at least. And the blue part is the control track, which where is where the front car of the train will be. Or the back car, depending on the situation. So yeah, if you don't know uh, what you're looking at here, I recommend you watch the uh, shoestring tutorial I made in an earlier map. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just gonna open up the ride, just gonna make sure that it's running properly. Okay, so here at the split I want the front car to go to the bottom track and I want the rest of the train to be running on this track on top here. Okay, um, oh yeah, of course I need to uh, put it in a mode that allows a non-continuous circuit. So I'll just do a powered launch without passing station. Uh, launch speed of 3 kilometers per hour, that should be fine. Okay, the front car is now on here. So now I will um, reverse their order, so they go so the, they go to the the rest of the train goes to the top track. Okay, there we go. Now this is just a simple uh, shear string. Normally I would make this train much longer so that it would fill this track. Um, but yeah, now I do, do, to do it like this. Oh, and I probably also should have put some uh, chain lift on here. <laughs> and I probably should have done the merge in the proper way. Let me quickly check what I did wrong here. <laughs> probably uh, didn't actually match up the tracks. Ah oh, yeah, I see. I messed it up here. Okay, now, this, now it should be working fine. Okay, now they go to the red track here. And, and this particular piece of track I want this track to be at the bottom. All right, let's try this again. This uh, stuff is much easier when you use the pause button. Not really possible in a multiplayer server, but uh, only if they go really slow you can also do this in a multiplayer server. Um, but yeah, this is just one method of splitting up a train. Okay, I've split up the train now, and now this part of the train will be on the top track. Like I said, normally I would make this part of the train really long so it would fill up the track, but this is just a demonstration. Okay, now this part of the train will be on top here, on an infinite track, and the bottom part of the train here is here at the, at the station. Okay, um... If I keep it running now for a long time, you can see that uh, it doesn't actually calculate any stats for this ride, no matter how long I wait. And the reason for that is that um, yeah, the stat calculation function is stuck in an infinite loop. So if from the station we... Yeah, the stat calculation function really works like a train would. So it just loops through all the track elements and th that way it uh, travels through the track until it reaches the end and then it calculates uh, how fast the coaster would, would be everywhere um, yeah, and what the forces would be, etc, etc. Uh, because there's an infinite loop here, um, the stat calculation will just keep looping through these track elements and it will basically get stuck here infinitely. So there's a really simple way to fix it. So here we from the station we have this track towards this infinite loop. The easiest way to fix this is just to take a track piece which is in this path from the station to the infinite loop. So I'll take this uh, track piece right over here and I'll just move it upwards a little bit. And then, also really important, close the ride once, only once. Uh, what this does is that it uh, stops the stat calculation function and then we put it in test mode again or we open the ride again. And if we fast forward now, you can see it immediately calculates stats. And the stat calculation will be working again in your park. 
So if you want to uh, reset this right, you'll have to put this uh, track piece back where it was. But uh, yeah, this is just an easy way to ensure that your uh, park actually calculates that. Now this ride uh, is now not particularly uh, exciting anymore. Uh, what's this one? So uh, these stats are really low because there's, it only has such a short track now. Uh, the stat calculation function now stops here. So in order to actually let guests uh, ride it again, just change it to a lift. It will also make the station invisible. But since it's a transport ride now, guests will ride it uh, regardless of its stats. Alright, um, I hope this tutorial is useful for you, and uh, I'll see you again in the next video. See you later!